evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to all of you to the sixth Father in the City concert tonight. We are here at uh, Institute Mises in Baganza. Uh, thank you very much for coming. Tonight we have Fabu in the city, and the theme is Ten Fadistas. We are presenting before you ten different singers. The first one has to be the Queen. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first Fabu, Maya Mali. Si a minha alma fechada se pudesse mostrar que eu sou proclada se pudesse contar toda a gente veria quanto sou desgraçada quanto fiz alegria quanto sonho é cantar que Deus me perdoe Se é crime ou pecado Mas eu sou assim Fugindo ao fado Fugia de mim Cantando dobrado E nada me dou Que Deus me perdoe Quando canto não penso No que a vida é do mal Nem sequer me pertenço Nem o mal se me dá Chego a querer na verdade E é sonhar sonho imenso Que tudo é felicidade E tristeza no ar Que Deus me perdoe Se é crime ou pecado eu sou sim Fugindo ao fado Fugia de mim Cantando dobrado E nada me dou Se é pois um pecado Ter amor ao fado Que Deus me perdoe Obrigada, thank you. Deu para cura, thank you. For the first father, we try to showcase the queen. Of course, she does not need any more publicity in the entire world. Amalia Rodrigues, uh, one of the beautiful fathers that she did in the 1950s. Que Deus me perdoe. The wordings are, um, I ask God to forgive me if it is a sin to be in this world of Fadu. The next Fadu, or rather the next Fadishta, is a young Fadishta. Born in 1985, younger than me. She today is uh, making a huge uh, mark in the Fadu world. I think she is one of the young Fadishtas who were first has made a mark in the country and then she has gone abroad. Whereas when you talk about Fadishtas like Anna Mora or uh, Marisa, you find that their career has actually made a mark internationally first and then they were more recognized in the country. 
But Raquel Tavares, the next Felista, who was born in 85, uh, is a very typical uh, father singer. And I believe she even lives in Alfama. That is the area of the father in Lisbon. Uh, this young singer has about uh, four albums to her credit. And uh, believe me, watching her live, you cannot help becoming a fan of her father. And she's not very traditional. The last concert I attended, she had tennis shoes, a skirt up to her calves, sleeveless, and she was walking furiously all over the stage. Imagine, this was Kai Shaw Firma, a very famous Fadu uh, festival. And that was how she was dressed. The only thing, she wore black. But otherwise, it was a very modern presentation. So this Fadu, which actually brought up her career, is called Fala de Mulher Sozinha. A uh, lady talks about being alone, loneliness, or living alone. You can take it the way you want. This Fadu was done earlier by another Fadishta, but Raquel Tavares gave it a different uh, turn. Uh, so the next Fadu is Fadu de Mulher Sozinha, with a go and turn to it, of course. I uh, hope you like this one. Já estou farta de estar só Acompanhada de nada Já estou louca de ser rua Tão corrida e tão pisada Já estou prenha de amizade é uma riga de saudade Ai, eu ainda um dia rasgar a solidão E nele entrelaçar o iado e uma canção Chegar algo mal sim alto Mais longe e mais além Mas a saber que sou Na cidade sou loucura Sou vergonha, sou ciúme Caminho a tal lonjura E nele entrelaçar o iado e uma canção Chegar ao cume, ao cima, ao alto Mais longe e mais além Mas a saber que sou alguém Longe mais além, mas a saber que sou. Next Fadu singer, um, people call her the second Amalia. Uh, she has done great wonders with the Fadu internationally. A very tall figure. Do I need to say anything more? Marisa. This lady, um, at a very young age, used to sing other stuff, other sort of music. And then she got into the Fadu. And today she is probably the highest... Uh, demanded or a wanted father singer in the world. Um, Marisa has a very unique style of singing. 
um, if you have watched her videos, she is a tall lady, a very tall lady. And, um, and she actually fills up the stage. Uh, she has a lot of, um, a very, very strong presence on stage when she sings. Um, some people call it dramatic, over dramatic, especially the purists. But uh, in all, she has a very successful career and she has her own style. Uh, this Padu, I would like to do for you to uh, mention Marisa, is called Shuva. Some people here would know Shuva, right? The Padu Shuva. Shuva in literally would mean the rain. And we could not leave that Padu out of this very rainy evening. Um, the poem actually says that, let this rain hit on me, on this cold, frigid body of mine. Because like certain moments in life that you do not forget, I will never forget the moment when you left me. And now I stand here like a child, screaming in this city and letting that rain pour on this frigid body of mine. Shubha. As coisas bugas que há na vida não deixam salade. Só as lembranças que doem ou fazem sorrir. A gente que fica na história. Na história da gente E outras de quem nem o nome Lembramos ouvir São emoções que dão vida à saudade que traz E aquelas que tive contigo e acabei por perder. Há dias que marcam a alma e a vida da gente. E aquele em que tu me deixaste não pode. Posso esquecer a chuva molhava meu rosto gelado e cansado. As ruas que a cidade tinha já eu percorrerá. Gritava a cidade Que o fogo do amor Sobre a chuva em instantes Morreira A chuva ouviu e calou Meu segredo a cidade E eis que ela bate no vidro Trazendo a saudade
A chuva ouviu e calou meu segredo a cidade E eis que ela bate no vidro Trazendo a saudade E eis que ela bate no vidro Trazendo a saudade Well, the next fado is, um, it is a traditional fado, however, uh, done recently by the new generation, Farishta, who we had the good fortune to watch singing live here in Goa. A few years ago, we had the opportunity in Kala Academy to watch Dr. Katya Garer sing. She is a Farishta, but she is actually a doctor, medical doctor who has chosen this path. I think she still practices medicine, but Fadu has taken up more of her time. With about eight albums to her credit already, this singer born in 76, a very, very um, friendly, a very um, approachable singer. Um, this concert was held at Kala Academy in the Open Auditorium. Anybody here who attended that concert? Yes, okay. <laughs> so you remember that red skirt? She had worn this beautiful red skirt embroidered and she said it was Indian skirt, but she bought it in Paris. And then she wore it and sang in Goa. So, so that's how much she travels. Um, Katya um, has a very distinct uh, voice. If you listen to many Fadishtas, it is a strong voice, but it is slightly um, different from the normal Fadu uh, voices that you would listen to. She has something in her, the timbre of her voice. So the next fadu, so that it's not all slow fadu this evening, we've chosen Muda Tudu Ate Mundu, which means everything changes, even the world. When you fall in love, everything changes. Muda Tudu Ate Mundu. Por amor que se aceita e também se diz que não É por amor que se aceita e também se diz que não Só por amor se rejeita outro amor, outra paixão Só por amor se rejeita outro amor, outra paixão É por amor que se cai ou se vence ou se resiste É por amor que se cai ou se vence ou se resiste Por amor nada nos dói, por ele não se desista Por amor nada nos dói, por ele não se desista É por amor que nos damos a quem não gosta de nós É por amor que nos damos a quem não gosta de nós É por amor que cantamos até já não ter termos voz é por amor que cantamos até já não termos voz é por amor que se aposta toda a vida no segundo é por amor que se aposta toda a vida no segundo Porque quando a gente gosta muda tudo até o mundo Porque quando a gente gosta muda tudo até o mundo Thank you, obrigada, thank you. Lebanon Kurum, thank you. In the generation of Amalia, there were many other fado singers who also had uh, very famous fathers, and they also contributed a lot to this journey of this genre. Um, some of who were heard here 
in Goa, and some of whom we did not um, get a lot of LPs, or probably a lot of it on the radio in Goa. Some of them still sing, and uh, they are like the seniors in the world of the fab. You have their pictures and their uh, life stories in the museum of fab, and then suddenly you see them at a function. Um, not all of them can manage singing now because of age, but uh, one lady that uh, still can sing and uh, really rock uh, a fado, rock a fado performance. Um, we wonder how Lorna does this at her age, but I think this lady is older than Lorna, and uh, she does uh, sing in a very strong voice. This lady had always a style of singing very loud, Maria the Fair. Uh, this lady has one particular fado which I love. It's called Kantare Atekia Vojmadova. I will sing till my voice allows me to sing. I will sing like the birds, fly high and go anywhere and sing. I will sing about my country, I will sing to my people, I will sing to my land. I will sing about smiles of little children and laughter here and there. I will sing till my voice allows me to sing.
Obrigada. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, there is this book called Fado in the City. Uh, whoever has attended Fado in the City concerts before has probably got a copy. Uh, all of you who do not have a copy, please feel free to pick one as you leave the hall. Uh, this is a, a book that has been compiled with a lot of love for this project. Um, we have um, chapters in this book that deal with the history of Fado, origin of Fado, famous Fado singers. There's a whole chapter on Amalia. There's a whole chapter on a very mystical lady called Maria Severa. There's chapters on how Fado came to Goa or when we assume it did and some proof of it here in the 19th century. We have some chapters on what's happening about the Fado today in Goa. So please feel free and pick your book. I mentioned this book here because of the chapter on Maria Severa. This lady, Maria Severa, was born in 1820, died in 1846. She lived only 26 years. And she gave Fado the formal structure or the form or the style that we today recognize it as. There are theories that Fado was different prior to that, but Maria Severa, with her lover, the Count of Vimioso, um, which was an affair that was not looked upon very well in society, a Count and the daughter of a prostitute. And therefore, um, there was a lot of, as you know, drama in the whole thing. And this young lady died at the age of 26. It is assumed that she died of TB, but there's no proof. And she gave this form um, a name or a name to this form, Fadu. This Fadu, the next one, Ruadu Kapalaun, is about her life. Um, there was a movie made in the 1930s wherein the whole story was Maria Severa. The whole story was about her and about her love affair and therefore a lot of songs. And Rua du Kapilau or Rua du Kapilau was one of those composed for the movie. So it is not a, a fable that she sang. It is not. It came in a century later. Um, Rua du Kapilau is in this concert tonight because we are featuring here a Fadishta again who came to Goa, Kuka Rosetta. How many of us attended her concert? A couple of years ago maybe? Two, three years ago, yeah. Uh, again, a very tall lady, very beautiful, um, a very different voice, a very fine voice. Uh, at the moment, her career is going international. She's, she's traveling quite a bit. After Goa, she traveled to other parts of the world as well. Um, but her career shot up with Oruo de Kapilau. Till date, in her concerts, she sings Oruo de Kapilau because that is one fado that actually uh, showcased her voice to the to the fado world internationally. So we're doing Oruo de Kapilau tonight, um, featuring, or rather, focusing on the Fadishta, Kuka Rosetta, who happened to come to Goa and sing here when Smana Kultura organized the concert. Oruo de Kapilau. This fado talks about the street of the chaplain, which is the name of a street that exists in Moriria, in Lisbon. And that's the street where her house still exists. Today it is a Fadu house, but the house where Maria Severa, who died in 1846, lived. And that house is on this street, and therefore the words go, I will kiss the stones of that street, the stones on which my lover will tread. Or who are the Ooh. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. In the father world, when people talk about Amalia, they also talk with this probably the same weightage about another father singer of around the same time, Maria Teresa Dunoronya. This lady, from a, apart from being a father singer, she also wrote, I think she has also composed, and more importantly, she had a program on the radio, national radio, which ran for years, showcasing different types of fathers and fadistas from Lisbon, from Portugal. Maria Teresa de Noronha um, did not travel too much abroad and have concerts like Amalia did. Uh, but she is considered to have known more about traditional fado, uh, more about the theory, and of course, a very good singer herself. Maria Teresa de Noronha has this beautiful traditional fado called Fado de Zores. Again, a mention of traditional fado here. Traditional fado does not have chorus, and therefore you'll find it's just verse after verse. A song usually has a verse and a chorus. That's Fado Canção. That came a century later. But traditional Fado, one of the rules is this verse after verse. All the verses of the same number of lines, the same number of syllables. These are certain rules of uh, traditional Fado. So this particular Fado of Maria Teresa de Noronha, I would like to sing to also mention a little bit about Fado Tradicional. This one is called Fado de Zores. It's a love song. It says, um, being with you feels like seconds. Being away from you is like hours. Uh, whenever I'm with you, I feel that I'm the queen of the world. So stay with me, uh, my love. Fado de Zores. <laughs> Chorava por te não ver Por te ver eu choro agora Chorava por te não ver Por te ver eu choro agora Mas choro só por querer Querer ver-te a toda hora Mas 
deixar o sol por querer Querer ver-te a toda hora Passa o tempo de corrida Quando falas eu te escuto Passa o tempo de corrida Quando falas eu te escuto Nas horas da nossa vida Cada hora é um minuto Nas horas da nossa vida Cada hora em um minuto Quando estás ao pé de mim Sinto-me dona do mundo Quando estás ao pé de mim Sinto-me dona do mundo Mas o tempo é tão ruim Tem cada hora um segundo mas o tempo é tão ruim Tem cada hora um segundo Deixa de estar ao meu lado E não mais vás embora Deixa de estar ao meu lado E não mais te vás embora No meu coração Vida uma hora pro meu coração cuidado vive na vida uma hora. Obrigada, thank you. Father in the city was an idea that just came out uh, one evening when we were all listening to Fadu. And uh, a thought, why not take Fadu if people don't come to the Fadu? Let's take the Fadu to them. <coughs> so we had uh, five concerts already. We did one concert, the inaugural of course, uh, where the book was released at the hands of the ambassador, uh, Dr. João Camara, um, at the residence of the consul, which was the launch of, of the um, of the project. The second concert we had at, at Suna Planta, which is the art uh, and culture center in Altinho. Uh, the theme there was the life and the journey of Amalia. The theme for the first concert was Ladies of Yesteryears. The third concert was at the restaurant Maracas in Purvuri. The theme was Ten Shades of Love, all fathers with different shades of love. The fourth concert was at the ancestral house of the Figueiredo family in Rotuli, uh, where the theme was Fadu Tradicional, where we explained a lot about what is traditional Fadu, its rules and its variations. The fifth concert was not in Goa. We were taken all the way to the Mao by the very kind um, Consul General of Portugal to India, Dr. Rui. Thank you very much. Where the uh, Dia de Camões, 10th of June was celebrated in the Mao. And so the theme there was Fabu for a, a wonderful and very, very um, enthusiastic audience in the Mao. We are back in Goa. The sixth evening is tonight. Um, we take a break in the month of July because I am going to be away. Uh, the next Fadu in the city is on the 6th of August. It shall be announced. But if I am not mistaken, we are already houseful there. Just like we were at Maracas and at Figueiredo, ancestral house. Therefore, we brought Father to the city to this venue, hoping that all those who were not given seats and who didn't have place, who love the Father and want to attend and want to listen, are uh, here with us. So thank you very much, all of you, for joining us on this very rainy evening. Thank you for joining us. Um, the next fadu uh, I would like to do for you um, is called Nochtiers. And why Nochtiers? Nochtiers because um, this is a fadu that has been recently 
redone and, and, and resurfaced because of a father singer, a gentleman father singer, which is very rare, uh, Ricardo Ribai. Uh, this gentleman, a very, very plump, very uh, strong figure on, on stage, and an equally strong and a beautiful voice. Um, he does this fadu called Nauhiyash, which is again a traditional fadu. It's called Fadu Tertulia. Traditional fadus have the name of the poetry as well as the name of the melody. So this one's the name of the melody is Fadu Tertulia and the poem is Nauhiyash. Different poets write different poetry, poems for those established traditional fadus. Okay, this was a topic in Figueiredo's ancestral house, not tonight. So here we are singing because we want at least one gentleman singer. Of course, you have Kamane and you have his brother Elder and you have many other gentleman father singers in the new generation. Um, but I particularly like uh, this voice very much. Now, <laughs> here. Sai por presente te quero tanto É louco por ti este meu coração Não sai por presente este meu pranto Sorriso te provoca sem razão Meu amor, minha grande dor, não rias, por favor do meu sofrer. Tem cuidado comigo, talvez, por teu castigo, a sorte, a minha porta vá bater. Podes passar a vida sem cuidados E fazer juras a mentir Mas olha meu amor, estás enganado Que a vida não é só a dar a rir Meu amor, minha grande dor, não rias, por favor do meu sofrer. Tem cuidado comigo, talvez, por teu castigo, a sorte, a minha porta vá bater. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, I would like to present before you the three gentlemen who have, who have stood by me in this mad adventure called Father in the City. Ladies and gentlemen, on uh, the Portuguese guitar, we have Orlando de Noronha. Viola do Fado, 
Dr. Alan Abreu. Viola do Fado, Carlos Manuel Menezes. I say that they've, they've backed me up in this madness. They really have. Um, and I mentioned the three musicians here because the next one that we're going to do, the next father for you, is really madness. Um, of course, it's a beautiful madness. Uh, we're breaking some rules. It's actually not a father. It's a folk song. And why a folk song? Because we're talking about a Fadishta who came to Goa again. Any guesses? We've already spoken about Katya and we've already spoken about Kuka. Uh, Amalia, we've already sung Amalia. One more father singer, lady father singer, who came to Goa and sang again in Kala Academy in the AC Auditorium. No, that was a band, Yolinda. No, that's, no, that's not. A uh, father singer, lady. Of course, she had a gentleman singer with her and two guitarists, of which one is probably the best Portuguese guitar of the future, guitarist of the future, Ricardo Rocha. But who's the lady? Mariana. Okay, that's close. <laughs> Mariana Bobon. Yes, Mariana Bobon. Um, the beauty about this singer, Mariana Bobon, is she's actually a trained singer. She teaches music and she gives classes of piano. She plays the piano so beautifully. Her, one of her albums is called Fado e Piano, where she actually uses the piano in uh, accompanying the father. Um, she is also an English jazz singer. She has an album called Smooth which has recently been released in the last two years, in English entirely, some of them written and composed by her. So uh, what I'm trying to show here is Mariana Bobon, apart from Fab, sings and still does many other things in different other genres, in uh, gospel music as well. So the, the song we're doing now is a folk song, because in most of her concerts, including the one in Goa, she sings things other than Fab, uh, which is not very common with other Fadishtas. Uh, a folk song which comes from a place called Idanya Velha, which is a zone in central Portugal um, towards the border with Spain, to the east. And uh, there's a legend about this song. Uh, there was this uh, wood, um, a hilly area where there was a plant called Murta, which grew very uh, extensively. And this, um, there are two legends, a shepherd boy or a group of shepherds that traveled there, found a picture or an image, a statue or a picture of Our Lady. And they found it so beautiful, they carried it home. And when they opened their bags at home to show it to family, there wasn't any picture. And when they went back to that same area to graze with their flock, they found that thing again there. So uh, this happened quite a few times and then they realized that it was something mystical, or a miracle, and therefore a chapel was, was built on top of that hill. And uh, that lady is known as Signora Dual Murtão. Um, a folk song from that region, which I would like to sing for you. Uh, I'm going to bring a folk uh, percussion instrument to join uh, us in this song. Um, this is an aduf. It's a, um, a folk instrument. It's not broken. It's supposed to be like that. I, I still have to discover why, but um, it's cute. Um, so we have um, Mariana Bobon, because she does a lot of music other than Fab. Um, this is a, a song that she has, a folk song that she has given her own flavor. If you have her album, it is there in her beautiful album. Um, uh, we've, we've redone it, of course, but this is for you, Senhor Edual Murta. Senhor Senhor
from being a very good singer she's also a good friend so it had to be special with mariana bopan uh well this brings us i think to the last fab of tonight we're going back to the fab before which i would like to thank all our patrons uh all our sponsors who have uh, helped us in this project if you take the book home you will see all the advertisements i would like to thank from the sound audience in a very special way for helping us and staying standing by uh, this movement of father in goa thank you very much um i would also like to thank all the the guests the dignitaries that have joined us this evening thank you very much it's indeed a pleasure to see you all here well please stay tuned in august and september we will have a few more father in the city concerts as i mentioned the 6th of august is already uh, booked Uh, there are no tickets for Fado in the city uh, unless it is in a restaurant venue where you pay for the food not for the fado um do feel free to let us know if you can think of more venues and more places where we could take the fado we're planning also to have a few workshops on the fado as time goes by not during the monsoons of course thank you very much uh, prasad pankar cmyk the academy for always sending your photographers they've a tie up with us so thank you gentlemen with the cameras thank you very much durgesh um the gentleman handling the sound believe me he left this morning he had breakfast in pune lunch in belgaum and in the evening he's here with us so thank you for driving all that way to be with us thank you durgesh thank you all of you i i hope i have not forgotten anybody the management and the staff uh who's sitting behind the staff of uh, IMB thank you very much for your support and cooperation um thank you each and every one of you for taking out uh, time and coming on saint joan i know there were many other tempting things happening around so thank you very much for joining us i can see people here all the way from delhi uh people who have just returned from lisbon um we have quite a few people from margao thank you very much all of you for coming um The last father ladies and gentlemen talking about the new fadista Carminho 
another Fadista that is at the moment going very, very international. Uh, what's very cute about her is she sings Fadu, a lot of traditional Fadu, but in trousers. Uh, not the traditional black dress with a shawl and, you know, she's quite modern in that way. Short hair and trousers. A beautiful, very strong voice. A very thin figure, but a very strong voice. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Carminu uh, has many fads to her credit, but one particular fad that is considered her launch pad, um, an old fad called Meu Amor Marinheiro. Um, this is a fadu called uh, Meu Amor Marinheiro, my lover, the sailor. The sailor, my lover, is on board the ship, and I am here, far away from him, jealous of everything that's around him. I'm jealous of the waves. I'm jealous of the water, I'm jealous of the mermaids, I'm jealous of the air, because they all can be close to him and I cannot. And my love, please do not look up at the stars, because the stars may rob the beautiful color of your eyes, the green of the ocean. Mevo mor, marinyayiru. Verdes ondas do mar que teimam em querer beijar meu corpo erguido às marés. Tenho ciúme do vento que me atraiçoa que vem beijar-te na proa e foge. Teu corpo se alaia para contigo ir bailar. Tenho ciúme das ondas que se levantam e das sereias que cantam. Rouba cor aos teus cabelos Não olhas para as estrelas Porque elas podem roubar O verde que há nos teus olhos Os teus olhos A cor do mar Thank you.